Welcome to Craig's Magic Table. Want to see a cool trick? Deja vu times two again. Before we get into the trick, I just want to say thank you to all the subscribers. Last night we hit over 500, so thank you so much. That's really fun for this little channel. Now let's get into this trick. This is a fun trick to do if you're out and you don't know you're going to be doing magic and somebody hands you a deck of cards. Today we're going to use the Halloween deck, the orange ones, because it's getting close to Halloween. And I'd ask them to make sure the cards are well mixed, that they're not new deck order, and then ask them to cut the cards, mix them up as much as they like. And when they're satisfied that nobody could know where any of the cards are, they stop, and then I will dill them into three piles. By dilling them into three piles, we're actually mixing them up even more. We don't know what cards are going into which piles. And we're going to dill fast. It's an exciting part of the show here. And we are now done. And now we'll just gather them up. And I want you to see that these cards are, in fact, well mixed. There's no order. There's no jokers. But the cards are very well mixed. At this point, I would ask the spectator to go ahead and mix the cards again until they are satisfied that nobody knows where the cards are because they're changing the bottom card, the middle card, the top card. Everything is getting changed, and they stop whenever they want. Now, this is the deja vu part of the trick where I'm going to deal these piles one more time. And again, this is just another way of mixing the cards because we don't know which cards are going into which pile. Again, this is an exciting part of the show. The girls start screaming my name right about now. Yeah, like there's girls watching, right? So now we'll gather these up. And at this point, I would ask the spectator to once again mix the cards as much as they like. So they can just keep doing this. And then when they're satisfied the cards have been mixed, they stop. Oh, by the way, were you keeping track of where the aces went? I forgot to tell you, that's what we were going to do. So you had to follow, when I showed you the cards were mixed, notice where the aces were, then keep track of how many cards were cut on top, below where the aces got moved to. But if you didn't do that, that's okay. That's my job. I'm going to make one adjustment to the deck. I got it. Now I know where all the aces are, just like that. So let me deal them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that's one ace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Kept track of two aces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, we kept track of three aces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we kept track of all four aces. After all of that mixing, and you could have mixed them as much as you like, uh, they were so well mixed up, but Keeping track of those aces under those conditions was incredible. But even more incredible than that was we kept track where all the twos went. We, is that in camera? Keep that in camera. There. We kept track where all the threes went, all the fours, all the fives, all the sixes, all the sevens, all the eights, all the nines, all the tens, all the jacks, all the queens, and all of the kings. Not only did we keep track of them, we kept track of them in order after all of that mixing. And I promise you could have mixed them up as much as you like. This kind of stuff drives me crazy because I have I can't find the instructions for this anywhere. I have no idea how this works. Thank you for subscribing. If you like this channel, please like, please comment. Uh, really means a lot. And uh, have a wonderful day, everybody. And I'll see you soon.